Also, we'll have to test the motor first with this, one of these testers. Uh, this is gonna tell us which of the sensors is broken. So you have a hub motor that is malfunctioning. How do you test it out? The most common thing that happens to the, to the motors is these hull sensors. You can see I have one over here. They are located on this board on the Hemiway uh, cruiser, but any, any motor has them, any hub motor. There's one over here, one over here, and one over here. And what these things do, they read the fields when the motor spins. And then you could find out which one broke by buying one of these. Uh, so this is a tester. It has a motor and it has a controller test. So we are in motor test right now. You see th there's three lines over here. Uh, these are the hull sensors. So these have to go into a certain order. And when you spin the motor, the sensors are supposed to change. You see how it, it changes every time? That's the problem with this motor, is that the green is dead. So we have to find which hull sensor is for the green because it's not working. Uh, one of the hull sensors broke, so right now I have to do is I have to go inside here, trace the wire for the green, and then replace that particular sensor. Also, this uh, tester can also test the, f the poles uh, inside here if the main wires are okay. So right now when I, when, I, when I spin it, the camera might have a bad sync for it because it's a 30 hertz, but um, these flicker, that means that all the three poles are not in short and they are working. And then obviously I, I see the two, two hall sensors flicking, right? but not the third one. So I'm missing this one over here. So one of the hall sensors is broken over here. So that's how you test it out and that's how you replace them. You could buy these for 10 cents each. So they're very, very cheap. It's just a matter of putting them in. I'm 43 years old. I don't have the best vision in the world, but I was able to see that. I think we're done with this. We're gonna run a test on it, but first I gotta cut these off. So a pair of snippers. You see the motor over here when I'm spinning it? You see how those three lights go in order? Right, right over there. So see these two, and these two, and these two, and so and so every time I spin. So it was a bad hall sensors, right? Now all I have to do is just put the motor together and we're good to go. So what you have over here, you have the controller line, so you could ch check the phase on the controller. The controller uh, hall lines to see if the controller is sending the right sensors. Then you have the uh, hall sensors for the motor, which is this connection over here. So this is the hall sensor for the motor. You have the three wires, the green, blue, and uh, yellow for the motor itself. And then you have, uh, you could test the throttle and other things on it. So you have options as far as that goes.